All right, we're just gonna pretend my car isn't a mess. Okay. Ooh. Done. Oh, another one. <laughs> What's going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a brand new video today. We're gonna be doing something a little bit different. Uh, my buddy Henry, who is filming right now, has never caught a smallmouth, never caught one on the fly, so we're gonna be teaching him how to fly fish. Pause, so I actually didn't do that today. We ended up just going fishing for carp with corn because I broke both my fly rods today, so yeah, resume. And we're gonna try to get him on some fish today. We're also gonna be trying to catch some carp. I wanna put him on a carp and get him on the biggest fish of his life. So we are bringing the spinning rod with us. Um, Moonshine Rod Co. was nice enough to send me one of their uh, Rambler series spinning rods. So we're gonna be putting this to the test against some big carp today. Uh, and we're also gonna be trying to maybe catch some pike on the floor. Another pause, just ignore this part. I didn't wanna film another intro, but we did not do this. We just fished for carp. This is a carp fishing video fly and maybe some carp on the fly. Just gonna be a mishmash day, gonna try to have some fun and try to catch some fish. So we've got about an hour and a half drive ahead of us. God damn it. <laughs> yeah. Done? Yeah. All right, so we're gonna get on the road and uh, we're gonna go get some coffee and then head over to the spot. But it should be a good day. Hopefully we'll catch some fish and yeah, let's get it. All right guys, so I spotted another decent carp right on the other side of this log jam here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to get out to it a little bit and then just cast out and try to get Henry on his biggest fish of his life. Messed up that cast for sure. There's usually a couple fish just hanging out in the shadows over here. I actually see one right there and it's a decent one. We'll see if he eats. Oh, it's a small mouth. <laughs> Dude, I thought that was the carp. <laughs> All right, so the only thing about fishing with corn, and this honestly happens on the fly too, is that there are tons of little small mouth on this river. And when you uh, are fishing for carp, it is not fun when a half pound, quarter pound smallmouth comes and eats your bait instead of the carp. Definitely psych you out a little bit. <laughs> Guys, there are some massive fish back in this corner here. Yep, yeah, here. Here. No, take the rod. Oh, Alright, bet. Here's the corn. Hold on. All right, guys, Henry's hooked up on his first ever carp, and it's a nice one, dude. Holy crap, dude. Definitely the biggest fish of your life. For sure. All right, so what he's gonna try to do is there's a cover over there and cover right here. You can't let him go into that cover or else he'll break you off. Okay. But you're doing good right now. When he's running, just let him run. All right, so come down river. Come down this way. Walk down, because he's gonna try to get you into this cover. Angle your rod tip this way. Keep him out, keep him out, keep him out. Oh, dude, that's a nice fish. It's a little bit bigger than the one I caught just now. You're just gonna try to bring him up to me, and he's gonna run again a couple times. Oh man.
Got him. Yes, dude. Oh, <laughs> That's an awesome fish. Woo. Hell yeah, buddy. First ever carp. Awesome, that's about the same size as the one I got. <laughs> Dude, is it? What if it was the same fish? I don't think so. Henry's oh. first carp. Biggest fish ever. Gorgeous, dude. You want to get the release? Yeah. Hell yeah. That's sick. Awesome. Hell yeah, dude. Good stuff. All right, so so far, mission accomplished. I mean, got two fish so far landed, and there is a absolute behemoth back there. So I'm going to change my GoPro batteries, and we're going to see if we can catch that one back there. See that mud cloud right there? Yeah. Right there? In the corner, that's where he is. Fucking bet. Oh, God, dude. He's So what he's doing right now is called tailing, and that's when they're pretty much face down, ass up, just... Um, <laughs> pretty much waving their tail on top of the water and just rooting around in the mud. And that is when they are most susceptible to being caught because they are not paying attention. So they most of the time won't see you, especially if you're fishing on the fly, that's what you're looking for is tailing fish. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so what I'm gonna do is just cast like right into this mud cloud, right on top of him. Let that corn sink, hopefully he sees it. and picks it up. I'm just trying to keep it in one spot right now. Yeah. Which is kind of hard because there's a lot of current. Um, I might actually put it a little bit closer. Oh, I got him. Fuck yeah. You want to grab the net? No, it's okay. I don't think this is the big one. <laughs> It might be. I don't think so. It doesn't feel big. Dude, where is he going? Dude, what? Let's try to get him out of here. Um, no sunlight, bro. Fuck yeah. yeah. I think this fish is a little, maybe a tiny bit better than the last one. Oh yeah, it's a pretty nice one actually. Oh, <laughs> oh dude, I love the way they just rip out drag. It's so sick. Dude, this corner is loaded with them. Really? There's more in there too, and somehow they aren't spooking. This is a pretty decent one, actually. Maybe. It might, I think it's just the same size. It seems to be that when they travel in schools, that they're like pretty much schoolie carp. People refer to stripers, striped bass as schoolies when they travel in schools because they're usually a lot smaller. Um, and that's kind of seems how it to be how it is with carp, what, at least in this river. Um, but I don't know. There's that one big one back there. This one's actually this one's a little bit nicer than those other ones we've been catching. This guy's definitely 10 pounds at least. Oh, dude, that's an immaculate fish, too. There's no missing scales. That's really rare. Look at the net. Such a pretty fish, dude. Dude, he is not giving up. <laughs> 
Oh no, I can't let him get in that cover. That's the only dangerous thing about this hole is that there's just this big lay down right here and these fish, as soon as they get hooked, just book it into it. Like they know, they know that there's line and they know they want to break it. I only have 10 pound uh, braid on here too. So definitely a little bit, uh, a little bit sketch. But I think he's just about done now. He might do one more run, but I'm going to try to get him now. came out. Oh. Nice. Yes, sir. Yeah, so this fish is a lot. This is a chunky fish, actually. Wow. And check that out, guys. Usually, these fish will have at least a couple missing f scales. This fish is literally immaculate. Like, look at those scales, dude. What? So crazy. And look at these huge fins. You guys, these are just Jeez. such sick fish. Like, I, I don't see how anyone could not like carp. This guy's barely hooked too. I pretty much just had tension on him. <sighs> oh yeah, though. That is such a pretty fish. Holy cow. Let's see the other side. Dude, immaculate. Fact. Not a single fin missing. I mean, a single scale missing. Literally perfect. Super, super pretty fish. Uh, best one of the day so far, but we're gonna go ahead and get the release. There he goes. <laughs> Hell yeah, and there's still more fish in that corner, dude. There's still more. That's crazy. All right, we're gonna try to get another one. I think it's Henry's turn now, though, so that. let's get Henry on one. Nice. Got him. What's that? No, I want you to fight this fish. Alrighty, so Henry is hooked up once again on another nice carp. Oh god, dude! He's just running. Holy crap. Yeah, so you can, uh, here, tighten up your drag a tiny bit. Yeah. Here. Oh, we're chilling. You're chilling? See you out? Dang. Cool. Oh! It's all right, it happens. What happened? All right, so Henry just popped off on that fish. I'm gonna go see if I can hook up on another one in this corner. There are just so many in this little corner here. I don't know why. All right, so we have fresh corn on now. We're gonna see if there's any more fish back in this corner here. It is just loaded, like literally, just this random little, oh, something just jumped right there. <laughs> this li random little uh, spot behind this log jam. These fish are just stacking up, and there's more fish just moving in and out of this area. So hopefully there's one, one at least one more fish back here that we can maybe catch um, before we move spots. Hey. Yes, sir. Oh, man. I thought that was a small mouth for a second, to be honest. <laughs> it's a big one? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. No. Decent, but not big. I'm trying to go behind this rock here too. Oh, Dude, no way we're gonna catch another one after this. Right? Uh, like, how are there that many of these fish back there? Like literally just in this one little area. This is the fifth, fifth fish I think we've hooked now. Yeah. Like, that's crazy. guy, I don't know if this is a little bit nicer. Looks like a pretty good one. But all of them do. <laughs> I mean, they're all like decent fish, you know?
do this thing where they kind of like roll and your line gets wrapped around them and it's super annoying. <laughs> <laughs> and then you'll feel it's like Yeah. When it gets unwrapped. I don't know why they do it. Net? Uh, yeah, you can grab it. next stretch of river that we're going to is hopefully going to contain some bigger fish because don't get me wrong these fish are an absolute blast to catch but there are some much much bigger fish in this body of water like I would call this an average size fish for here Come on. Oh man. And there he is. <laughs> oh, this is non-stop, dude. Yeah. Just fish after fish after fish. So many. What that mouth do? What that mouth do though? <laughs> that video that you sent me a while back. <laughs> That's a pretty nice fish. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Hell yeah. See you later. Woo! Hell yeah. All right, so we're just about out of corn, and the sun is going down, so we can't really see. Plus, I am very much hungry, so we're going to call it a day. We caught a lot of fish. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know if you did in the comments below, and I will make some more carp videos. Um, yeah, that's all I got for you. Huge shout-out to Henry for filming. We'll yes, see you guys sir. next time.